Mossab Hassan Youssef, the son of a Hamas co-founder, left these pro-Palestinian supporters speechless. This is proven by statistics and your silence now. You are not even, you cannot even condemn Hamas and say that what they did on October 7 was an act of a savage group. You don't have that power. I saw one of the most incredible comments on YouTube the other day. It reads, Arguing with a true Palestinian, a former jihadist, whose father was the founder of Hamas, about Hamas, is like arguing with me what the color of my bathroom is when you've never been inside my house. Classic, classic comment. Mossab Hassan Youssef's father is one of the co-founders of Hamas. Imagine having the audacity to argue with somebody who was in Hamas about Hamas. He broke free from their indoctrination and at the same time has been disowned entirely from his family. No matter your religious, cultural, or ethnic background, after watching this, you cannot argue whether or not Masab is on the right side of history. In fact, you could argue that Masab is one of the most important people in the world to talk to right now about this. Watch me break this down and at the end, comment your thoughts because there isn't anyone else in the world right now better to hear from than Masab. You don't know what Palestine is actually. In fact, the keffiyeh that you are wearing, mm -hmm. this is just a statement to show that you really lack the authenticity to represent the case. So Masab is right because she truly doesn't understand the case that is really trying to be made by Hamas and everyone else that is on board with them. She and those who have decided to suddenly wear a keffiyeh to make a political statement over the past six months are exactly where Hamas wants them. These college students are making the statement that they are pushing for the freedom of Palestinians, that they have somehow been convinced was taken away by Israeli people. But the agenda is, and what Hamas wants, is the destruction of Israel. The death of Israel, the death of Jews, shouting from the river to the sea, is just representing the agenda in the case that Hamas wants without even realizing it. And I tell you something, for the next 10 or 20 years, the Palestinian people will pay the bill that Hamas is caused today, and most likely in blood. It seems like we can't all agree on this, which still to me seems silly and ridiculous. How can we not agree that if you are even somewhat of a decent human being, you would be able to condemn what Hamas did to Israel on October 7th? It doesn't make sense. There is no argument, there's no side, there's no perspective, there's no opinion. And there's no such reason for not just being able to condemn what Hamas did on that day. The vast majority of the Palestinian people support Hamas. Really? This is a fact. This is proven by statistics and your silence now. You are not even, you cannot even condemn Hamas and say that what they did on October 7 was an act of a savage group. You don't have that power. Said I condemn On what the authority question. do you speak? You only speak on the authority of Hamas propaganda. No, I'm. S Why do you say that I'm speaking on the authority of Hamas propaganda? Because when if I'm you were a decent human being, you can say that the thousands were killed on October 7. That was a crime against humanity. It was a genocide. It, uh... All you have to do is listen to her silence. Look at her face and see her inability to come up with anything to say because there simply is not anything to say. If you are someone who is supporting a group who is fighting for their freedom, it doesn't matter what you think or what you say. Mutilating families and taking people hostage breaks every single human code that we have. And so if you are unable to condemn it, then you are just as much part of the problem too. From uh, a personal experience with the Jewish people, all I saw the most amazing, most productive, and most successful nation in the world that don't harm anyone else. In some Islamic texts, they say that Muhammad had a problem with the Jews and Muhammad is their prophet, so they follow his footsteps. But in reality, Muhammad did not write a word that says anything against the Jewish people. No uncovered document, no history lesson, no textbook, and no word of mouth will surpass the credibility of somebody's personal experience. Mossab is from the Gaza Strip. Unless you were also born in the Gaza Strip, and unless your father is also one of the co-founders of Hamas, you just cannot make the claim that you know, understand, are more educated, and well-versed as he is in this entire conversation. 
If there has ever been for the past six months, a story, an article, a podcast, a video on TikTok, or a claim which you have chosen to genuinely listen to, to potentially offer another perspective different from your own, this is the piece. Whether he is or is not representing the majority voice right now in the world, he is saying the same things about Israel that Israel has been trying to show you since the beginning. The intent is what matters. The intent on what the decisions are behind both parties from a military perspective and from a cultural perspective. One is trying to defend themselves from another group who are born and raised to hate. And this other group implements means of hate and violence on the other, Israel and Hamas, respectively. But it's not only hatred, it's human delusion, it's envy, it's anger. Masab was indoctrinated into the Hamas organization and ideology. He was embedded into the hatred, the delusion, and the envy that he's discussing with you right now. And so what Masab is saying to you right now is the exact same thing that Israel has been trying to prove to the rest of the world that they are not doing what they are being accused of. He talks about how amazing, productive, and successful the nation of Israel is, which does not harm other groups of people. And the world has been accusing Israel of harming the group of people that he is from. Since the 7th of October, the majority voice of people across the world have chosen to single-handedly point their fingers at Israel for being the oppressor, for being the violent enemy, for being the instigator, for being a state that does not and has never existed. Yet the son of a Hamas co-founder who has flawlessly spread this exact ideology across the globe is telling you that all of that could not be further from the truth. The Israeli government isn't trying to make a point. A geopolitical analyst isn't trying to make a point. I'm not trying to make the point. Right now, in this case, Masab is, because he is telling you the same exact things we have all been trying to tell you since the beginning of this war. Instead of condemning such a monster that they just committed ethnic cleansing against innocent people, then high, uh, kidnapped, hundreds of hostages, then use their own people as human shields. And none of those pro-Palestine people condemned Hamas up to this day. Instead of looking at the situation for what it truly is, the narrative is that Israel is occupying and oppressing Palestinian people. But you hear it from the Saab that it's actually the other way around. Instead of condemning the barbaric acts of October 7th, the narrative is that Israel has an unjustified response for what happened that day. But you hear it from Assab that it is the other way around. Instead of calling out Hamas for occupying their own Palestinian people, the globe accuses Israel of killing those innocent Palestinians. But you hear it from Assab that it is the other way around, that Hamas does in fact use their own citizens as human shields. And what is even crazier is that Massab himself knows that he could have been one of those shields too. How long would it take them to realize that this is not only enemy of Israel, it's enemy of civilization? So when I see protesters uh, on campuses like Harvard, of course I was outraged. I am still outraged. What's happening is insanity. Those pro-Palestine people need to go to a mental asylum. I said this after the war started and I'll return to it again. This war is not just about Israel and Palestine, Jews and Muslims. The extremist ideology that Hamas is trying to share around the world is about a global takeover. They are interested not just in the state of Israel and the Middle East, they are interested in every inch of land on planet Earth. And if they succeeded somehow of wiping Israel off the map from the river to the sea, they would build even more momentum to the next nation and sea and wipe them off too. Where do you think the phrase, the West is next, came from? The reality is, is for a lot of people watching this right now, they're hearing the things that they don't actually want to hear. That's right. What Masab is saying to you in the argument that he's putting forth is the exact thing that you don't want to hear. And that's exactly because you're hearing something that is very different from your perspective and very nice opinion that you've formed over the past six months. So you immediately go into this must be wrong. This is completely fake. He can't be right. You want to know what isn't fake? The soil in which Masab was born on. He is from the Gaza Strip. He's a Palestinian. He's somebody who was indoctrinated into this ideology. By who? His own father. He's fluent in Arabic. He's fluent in the culture. He's fluent in the geography. 
he's fluent in every intricacy involved with this extremist ideology. And I'm making the argument that Masab is one of the most important people living on earth right now to talk to about this conversation. And it doesn't matter to me, Israel, Palestine, Jew, Muslim, if there's anybody that I would wanna to listen to and hear from, it's somebody who is from the weeds, from that territory, from the language and from the culture. Somebody who is willing to spread awareness around the truth that most people are not willing to face. But right now, it is right in front of you. So are you willing to face it? Comment below and let me know.